In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to whitelist a domain in the Google Workspace Admin Console. Whether you're managing emails for a school, a business, or any organization, knowing how to whitelist a domain can help ensure important messages don't get caught in the spam filter. This process is pretty straightforward, and I'm going to walk you through each step. First things first, let's get started by heading over to Google Workspace. You'll want to open your browser and navigate to the main Google Workspace page. Once you're there, click on the admin console. If you haven't logged in yet, you'll be prompted to do so. Make sure you're using your business email to log in. This ensures that you have the right administrative privileges to make these changes. After logging in, direct your attention to the top right corner of the page. You'll see the Google Apps menu, which looks like a small grid of dots. Click on it and from the drop down menu, select the admin icon. This will take you to the main admin dashboard where you'll be handling the whitelist settings. Next, we need to get into the account settings. You can do this by navigating to the account section. If you're having trouble finding it, you can use the search function in the admin console or follow the link provided within your admin console's general settings page. Once in the account section, look for the domains tab. This is where we'll be making the changes to your domain settings. Under domains, you'll find a section called allow listed domains. This is essentially the list of domains you've explicitly approved and want to ensure none of their emails get marked as spam. Click on this section to proceed. Now we're ready to add the domain you wish to whitelist. Click on add domain. A text box will appear where you can type in the domain name. Make sure you enter the exact domain you wish to whitelist to avoid any misconfigurations. Double check for any typos as these could prevent the changes from being effective. Once you're satisfied with what you've typed, click the add button. This action will queue the domain for whitelisting within your Google Workspace account. The final step is to click save to apply the changes. It's important not to forget this step as any modifications you've made won't be updated until you save them. And just like that, you've successfully whitelisted a domain in your Google Workspace admin console. This ensures that all emails from the specified domain will bypass your organization's spam filters moving forward. Always remember to keep the whitelist updated and ensure only trusted domains are on it to maintain the security of your communications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.